Hi guys, it's Sandy here. Today I'm going to show you how to give a second life to an old furniture. Let's start it! So, I got a request from my client to find a dresser for her nursery room and refurbish it. And this is the dresser that we found and it is how it looks like at the end so today I'm going to show you how to refurbish it and where did I get the furniture from and where did I resell it so let's start it I got this dresser from Facebook marketplace isn't it looks so pretty it's still in good condition everything still works as you can see here but the only real problem is that the hardware is hard to come out you guys if you've been flipping furniture for a while you know that antique furniture they normally put or attach hardware into the wood so the only solution is that what you can see here i use a hammer and a scraper to trying to take out the old hardware bit by bit at a time once it becomes loose you will use a staple remover trying to take it out and don't worry about the wood we will fix that later together The next thing I'm going to clean inside now and check if there is any other damages that I have to fix. And now I'm going to use kick wood or epoxy stick to fix all the tiny pieces before I started to scab in. Once it dry off, probably around one to two hours. But I normally leave it for a while, like let's say four to five hours. After that, I'm going to use 220 to stop sand everything down. Then we're gonna wipe it off and leave it outside for it to dry completely. The next step is priming. I normally use water-based primer because it is so easy to clean up and it's not so sticky and stinky. It is very easy for beginner to start with. If you don't have experience using primer before, I recommend you to use water-based primer. It is very effective and very easy to use and clean up as well. And here we are at my favorite part, painting. I love this process because it shows big differences between the before and after when you painting the color that you choose. But this time I didn't choose this color. My client chose the color. I was so hesitated in the beginning, but when it showed up the result, I was so surprised how good it looked, how bold and beautiful of this blue color if you don't believe me here it is how it turned out the result of this dark blue color isn't it pretty dark blue color with gold handles what do you think so you're probably wondering where did i resell that furniture and how did i get my client the first thing you want to do you want to have your facebook marketplace store you would want to have five star reviews and also lots of reviews from your previous customer that you sell it online once you have facebook marketplace account you would want to have your instagram account as well so you can show off your 
project, your work, your behind the scene, the product that you use in before and after image. This is to help the future client trust you on your work and show them the transparency behind the process, behind the scene, that how you will get client. Most of my commission project, they all come from my Instagram page. So this is how you can do a commission project. How can you find clients? The first thing that you will need a Facebook marketplace store, get a lot of reviews, get a lot of stars. And then second, you will need an Instagram account showing your work and showing how you do behind the scenes. So your customer or your client trusted in your work and your project on each flip and to show your transparency on each step as well. So these two platform is very useful and very attractive and it will help you with your small business or your side hustle. Alrighty, I hope this video is helpful for you and I hope you start a flipping furniture in the next future very soon. And if you have any questions, just comment down below. If you like this video, just like and subscribe down below as well. And I'll see you later. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.